Good morning. Hi, Magnus. Hello. Good morning. Um, today, we've got a pretty full day going. Um, this morning, we get to go over to a, mo a recent completed project for our construction engineer uh, to take a look at an example of uh, the most recent project that he's finished and we can discuss his uh, quality standards versus what we're expecting uh, just to get both of us on the same page um, then that'll take up most of the morning this afternoon um, we get to go take delivery of our new vehicle uh, so Amy and I purchased a new, uh, a new truck or SUV um, so we're going to take delivery of that this afternoon. Let's go ahead and get today started. Took a ride with the engineer this morning to go look at the house that he'd most recently con completed. Looked at different items we wanted to incorporate into the house plan of our own. One of which being this uh, rem sliding doorway uh, going into the gate, into the driveway. Had a beautiful pool in the back. Unfortunately, not going to be part of our house. Um, I think maintenance may be a part of an issue over long term. Stepping in through the front door, this house had a beautiful, large, open floor plan. Um, as you can see, is just tons and tons of space. Uh, we just looked around throughout the whole building, uh, going over different things, looking at it. Um, large windows, uh, nice uh, pin light LEDs uh, throughout the building. Went to take a look at the master bedroom. Uh, did make the comment to, the, to our engineer that we loved the tray ceiling with the recessed LED lighting. Uh, only difference with ours is we'd be putting a large uh, ceiling fan in the center of the room as well. Again, same concept throughout with the uh, recessed uh, LED lighting and the tray ceilings. Interesting feature here, they had a uh, powder room hidden behind the uh, main living room. Uh, when the door closes, you hardly even notice it's there unless you're particularly looking for it. Nice, nice powder room. This is the uh, main kitchen. Um, cabinets are done aftermarket, but contractor did mention he can do similar work. Stop for a bit of lunch and probably the best uh, Kamapangan food in all of San Fernando's uh, restaurant here is called Balai Kamapangan. Uh, been in business for many years. Uh, you walk inside, it's an open buffet, um, 395 pesos per person, uh, roughly equates out to about $8 uh, per person to eat. Good spread, all uh, truly authentic uh, kamapangan food, um, really delicious. Following lunch, we uh, drove by, or were driven to, uh, Ford Pampanga. Um, they worked with uh, Ford Baggio to get us one of the few uh, remaining uh, 2020 Ford Everest uh, 4x4 uh, vehicles. Uh, this color is diffused silver. Uh, we were originally going for a white, but like I said, demand on these cars have been extremely high since they were released two months ago. Um, fully loaded, overall really excited with this uh, vehicle. Emmy and I are uh, proud new owners of a vehicle. We, now we can get around Pampanga and the rest of the Philippines all on our own. 
Happy trails. Thank you for watching. If you liked today's video, please hit like, subscribe, and hit the little bell icon to be notified when our next video becomes available.